Greg G.K. Porter back here at Fountain Valley Little League, the home, and the divisional champions, Ocean View Little League, and you are? Nick Prado. Nick, you hit the three-run home run. What kind of pitch was it? Fastball, low and in. Okay, and you just said, I'm going to drive this as hard as I can, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much what I thought. You don't have a lot of time to think about it. You just got to make contact, right? Yeah. Your team had to battle. Um, you know, one of your teammates had to battle pitch by pitch, and he was able to keep it alive to allow you to have that opportunity. Was And that's kind of the way you guys have made sure that you've had to play so far up to this point, right? Yeah, we've battled all the way through. Mm -hmm. Sectionals, that's really all we've done. All right. Good deal, good deal. You were on this team last year and just, what, four runs away from going to Williamsport, right? Yeah. And I know you don't want to think about that feeling. You want to erase any of those thoughts and say, hey, you know what, this is a new year and you're going to get to Williamsport, right? We got a chance. All right, you definitely do. You definitely, yeah, exactly, exactly. Well, um, anything else you'd like to say for your parents or anybody watching this DVD? Go, V. Okay. Let's go. Good Let's job, go. Nick. Good job, Nick. Let me talk to you, and you are? Christian Catano. Christian, talk about uh, how happy you and your teammates are in winning this divisional championship here. We're excited, ready to win next time. <laughs> this was one of those games where you guys and the other team only had five hits. Uh, their pitcher was dealing. What did you guys say to your, amongst yourselves before you know, getting to the chance to hit the three-run home run. What, what did you guys? What were you guys thinking? Make contact and don't swing at any balls. Okay. So just keep your mind in the game, pitch by pitch, and you know, look for your pitch and try to drive it somewhere. Yeah, it's just All about right. that. Don't swing at any bad balls, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, Christian. Anything you'd like to say to anybody watching this uh, video? Nothing. Just go OV. Okay, there you go. Good luck in the championship series. And you are? Justin Sianca. Okay, talk about this uh, championship here. It was great. It was so fun just watching. And I knew that uh, in sectionals, they, uh, we were one pitch away from winning it, and they, and they came back and won it. And so I said if they did it, then we could do it. Mm -hmm. So that's what I said in my head. And that's exactly what you guys did. Um, what, what was your thoughts when you saw that ball uh, headed up in the air, hit by your teammate Nick? I was so excited. I started like kicking like the bench and everything, and I just ran over there. Yeah, it was really cool. A new lease on life for you guys at that point, and you knew you just kind of had to come out here, play some defense, and uh, you knew your pitchers were going to take care of business, right? Uh huh. Because we we have a good deep pitching staff, so we're never worried about anything at any time. All right. Yeah. Well, I tell you what. Good luck in the championship series. It's a short best two of three. It's going to be a toughie, but you guys have done this before, haven't you? You did it last year. Uh. Well. It's going to be tough, but we're going to work our hardest. All right. Yeah. But it'll be the first time for you, right? Yeah. Huh? Okay. Well, good luck, all right? Uh-huh. And you are? Trevor Windish. Trevor, talk about this game. Uh, it was fun and very exciting, and that's about it. You you had to be saying to yourself, you know what? At the at, when I get a chance to get up my last at bat, I'm gonna do some damage, right? Yeah, I just tried to hit the ball hard somewhere, and just hopefully get on base. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And that's exactly what you did. Yeah. And then you came around on the big home run, right? Yeah, that was very <laughs> exciting. Uh, after he hit that, I knew we had a good chance to win right there, and that's about it. You guys had the momentum, and uh, that's the beauty of baseball, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, um, what do you guys have to do now uh, to uh, take this to uh, San Bernardino? Get some rest, right? That's the first thing, right? Mm -hmm. And get healthy. No, like, don't stay up too late and game it up and just work hard from the first pitch to the last out. Okay, and if any of you guys are Angels fans, they're playing pretty good right now, so maybe that will give you some inspiration too. Yeah, that's my favorite team too. 
Yeah, they're playing great. Well, good luck, and uh, you know, hopefully, you guys make it to uh, Williamsport. Yeah. Dream come true. Wouldn't yeah. You? <laughs> right. Go V. All right, there you go. And uh, you are? Uh, Rio Takata. Rio, talk about how much fun this game was, the way it turned out at the end. Uh, you know, I was just really excited, and, you know, I was just screaming, and just my throat hurts right now. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, I was, I was really happy. And, you know, Nick's a great hitter, and just hit it out of the park, and, yeah. You learn from uh, kids like that that can, um, you know, keep a presence of mind like, hey, you know, I'm going to protect the plate. I know, you know, we cannot go down. You know, we're very close to losing this game and have to play another game. But you learn from kids like that, don't you? Yeah, you know, just focus and, yeah. <laughs> well, you guys are quite a team uh, to do this and to defend your uh, divisional championship here. And uh, now you're going to play the guys from the north and see if you can go to uh, San Bernardino, huh? Yeah, and, you know, we're going to try our best and uh, just, you know, hit the ball, field, pitch, and do our best. Good luck, Rio. Thank you. Right. Rio! And next? Dylan Palmer. Dylan, talk about how much fun this game turned out to be, especially the last inning. Um, I was really amazed when Nick hit that home run. I knew he could do something with the ball, and he ended up hitting the home run. You guys have been just bulldogs. I mean, you've come into this um, you know, uh, championship, the subdivisional, whatever you want to call it, and you guys have played so well. You hadn't lost a game, and you guys kept that mentality all the way until – the last out and you guys end up taking it to the bottom of the inning you're ahead and they got one but they couldn't get two to tie it and you win this you you guys are bulldogs aren't you yeah i, I was amazed yeah we played as you, trevor said we played from the first pitch to the last out and, that, and we played hard the whole entire time we never quit and this is a tough divisional i mean these teams that have come in here they can play some ball can they yes they are very good <laughs> great feeling right dylan yeah Good luck in getting to Williamsport, okay? Thank you. All righty. And you are? Hagen Danner. Hagen, talk about just, you know, the way this game played itself out, how your teammates didn't get down. You know, their guy was dealing. You guys only ended up with five hits. So did they. But amongst your five hits, you get the big three-run home run. Talk about it. Well, we came – we had a hard time coming through the whole night, mm -hmm. and it – just happened the last inning that Nick Prado could just hit a three-run home run and put us to the lead. <laughs> Shows how baseball is over at Ocean View Little League. You guys uh, stay focused. You guys, again, the word bulldog, you guys are tough. Um, what, a, what a little league you guys have. Yeah, everyone in the Little League, everyone comes out to watch us. Everyone from a district and section, everyone loves us. I don't know. It's just, that's all I can say. It's fun to live in uh, Huntington Beach right about now, right? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, congratulations and uh, good luck towards getting to Williamsport, okay? Thank you. All right. And you are? Steven Kukoski. Steven, talk about this game. Well, it was very tough, very tough right at the end. I was bad. I was batted after Nick who hit the home run and it was very nerve wracking. Yeah. And I either wanted to get a hit and score or let me bat. It was like, please. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, I'm really happy that we won. You know, you see the big three run home run and you know, it even had me fooled. I thought the game was over. I thought you guys had the last ups. They still had a chance. What did you guys, what did your coach tell you guys going into the bottom half of this inning? Well, we know if we make our plays we, and our pitchers do a good job, like Nick came in at the end and closed it, that we, that we, will, we have a chance, a really good chance. <laughs> and you guys still had the trump card. Even if you did somehow fail in that effort, you still would get to play these guys again, and they had probably used their best card so far, right? Yeah, but it was good that we won early, and I really didn't want to play another game. <laughs> good job, Steven, and good luck towards Williamsport, okay? Thank you. All righty. And you are? Braden Salzman. Braden, um, you were dealing today. They only had five hits. Um, you know, you you just came out there and said, you know what? I got to help my teammates out. I got to do what's necessary out on the hill. What was what were you throwing out there? Uh, throwing mostly mostly curveballs, mm -hmm. and then like if there was uh, if if like 
they were if they were swinging at the curveball, I'd throw fastballs mm -hmm. right by them. <laughs> what was what was uh, you basically your out pitch? My, my curveball. Okay. And so your curveball does some serious breaking. It looked like it did. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> You're going to have to be a key, obviously, for your team to get to um, Williamsport. Um, you guys were only a few runs away from doing it last year. You weren't on the team last year, but you're part of the Little League, and I'm sure you knew those guys that were on that team. Uh, is there something in your, in your heart to say, you know what, I'm gonna, we're going to get this for our buddies from last year? Yeah. <laughs> As well spoken as an athlete. Okay, um, well, good luck in trying to make it to Williamsport and, uh, you know, great game that you pitched on the hill and get some rest. Thank you. All righty. And you are? Eric Anderson. Eric, talk about how much fun this was. Well, it was really fun, but I was nervous most of the game. <laughs> I was sweating it. Well, you know, baseball is a beautiful game. Um, you know, one pitch, all of a sudden you could be ahead when it looks like you might be in defeat. Um, it's something that, you know, why you come out to play baseball, why you start from the time you're in maps, right? Yeah. <laughs> and you got the great coaching staff here, and uh, they keep you guys ready for every game. Talk a little bit about that. Well, we have practice almost every day, mm -hmm. and... Yeah. <laughs> Speechless almost. Yeah. You can't wait till Saturday, right? Can't, can't wait at all. <laughs> well, get yourself some rest and congratulations and good luck towards making it to Williamsport. Thank you. All right. And you are? Anthony Martinez. Anthony, talk about this. Oh, it was a nerve wracking game. Seeing Nick hit a 3 1 home run, like, stoked the crowd. <laughs> I think everybody went nuts except for Parkview Little League and their partisans. Um, this was a dramatic game from the beginning, and uh, you guys had to stay, you know, in the mindset of every pitch, every out. Kind of a tough game to play, but you guys come out on victorious, and it shows how, how tough you guys are as, a, as an all-star team. Yeah. I can't really say anything else. <laughs> <laughs> Just overly jubilant, right? Well, good luck towards making it to Williams for it, okay? Thank you. All righty. And you are? Uh, Jack Ferry. Jack played well in this game, just as all the rest of your teammates. Talk about how much fun this is right about now. Uh, just fun. I don't know, really. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys get to play the Northern uh, California representatives. You guys were able to handle them in a great game last year. Uh, most of you guys, except for two, weren't on the team. But uh, they'll tell you all about that and uh, get you ready for these guys that come through. Um, are you looking forward to it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you can't wait for Saturday. To, it can't come quick enough, right? I can't wait. <laughs> all right. Well, you know, the key thing is uh, one of the little leagues that we were able to do from our area down there, um, we're able to uh, uh, come back through a loser's bracket. And I had uh, mentioned to uh, my wife that if they played that type of a thing and they didn't win initially, they were going to be in loser's bracket and they weren't going to be able to make it through. Um, what does your coach tell you guys prior to this divisional series to do in the first game? Just think about the first game, not about the next one. Okay, just and like, I don't know for us. Okay, come out to be ready to play, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, you guys definitely did. Good luck towards making it to Williamsport, okay? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. And you are? Jason Marga. Jason, talk about this game. Well, it was a really exciting game. We had some ups and downs, but in the end, we came out with the win. It was nice. <laughs> and uh, you can't wait till Saturday along with your teammates, right? It's, it's going to be fun. I know it. <laughs> Well, you guys pitch well. You guys are able to hit the long ball when needed. Um, you guys, um, you know, have good coaching. And that's the kind of thing that you need in order to get to this stage of the game. What do you guys got to do to get to Williamsport? Have to practice hard every day and play hard every game from the first pitch to the last out. I know you guys can do it. Good luck towards making it to Williamsport. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Greg G.K. Porter back here with the coaching staff. <laughs> and uh, they are just ecstatic, um, proud, and probably some other good words, too. I'm going to let them talk. Yeah, thanks, GK. Uh, <laughs> Jeff Prado, manager, and uh, Jose Martinez, coach, Tony Sianca, coach. Yep, thank you. 
Uh, hey, I want to first of all thank our fans and parents. You guys came alive tonight, huh? Um, thank you to our team that's been working hard, you know, ever since All Stars was announced on June 15th. We've been working uh, hard every day, and they've given up their summer pretty much, you know. No beach, all field, and, um, you know, uh, the hard work's paying off so far. Uh, tonight, you know, our pitching depth, our horse, uh, El Caballo, <laughs> Braden Salzman, uh, so uh, so thrifty in his pitches. I mean, uh, got us into the uh, two outs in the sixth inning with 65 pitches. Um, we had a little bit of timely hitting, obviously, at the end uh, with the three-run homer, and um, we kept our composure after this great Parkview team lit us up for a few homers, which we knew they could do and knew they probably would, and they did. And uh, Hagen Danner made uh, some spectacular plays at short, kept us in that ball game, and uh, we hope we uh, will represent this weekend uh, up north in uh, West Covina. Yep. You want to say something? I'm good. I'm good too. <laughs> Tony's good. Yeah. Jeff said it all. I'd also like to uh, thank another man over here, Larry Salzman. He's our he's our fourth coach. He gets us ready every day at the field. How you doing? That's that's uh, dad of El Caballo. Keeps the kids loose. Thanks to my wife for not yet divorcing me for being at the field every day. Thank you very much. And. Uh, I don't know. That's about it, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff Prado. Final score, five to three. Ocean View Little League now going to West Covina for further play this season. We hope you enjoyed all of the action here from Fountain Valley. I'm Greg G.K. Porter saying take care of yourself. God bless, and as always, save this one on the hard drive. Bye now.